You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about the Tokyo Olympics once again, because once again, we're talking about the Tokyo Olympics for all the wrong reasons. It has nothing to do with the actual competition. We're dealing with all of the drama, the protesting, and the propaganda at the Tokyo Games. And guys, now we have a different type of violation of IOC Rule 50 when it comes to protesting and propaganda. Now you have two Chinese Olympians who won gold. They actually are in a bit of hot water now with the IOC. There's some controversy behind what they did and not necessarily what they did, but what they were wearing. They got their medals and on their warm up jackets, folks, they had a pin of Chairman Mao, the communist dictator of China who brought in the Cultural Revolution, who is responsible, folks, for roughly 30 to 50 million deaths. Yeah, they wore those pins here and the IOC has questions about that. So we're going to be diving into all that, folks, in this video. But first, guys, here is a word from today's sponsor. Friends, let's face it. The future of America is looking worse each day. Those who are observant have the feeling that something really bad is going to happen soon. If it does, are you prepared? Do you have enough food, water, and other essentials to get you through tough times? If not, check out My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and they've served millions of American families. Right now, you can save 25% off their popular four-week emergency food kit, which will keep you well-fed with four weeks worth of breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks. Totaling over 2,000 calories a day. This food stays fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. In fact, you may need it a lot sooner than that. So don't wait. Go to preparewithblackandwhite.com and claim your four-week emergency food kit. You'll save 25% if you at now. That's preparewithblackandwhite.com. Don't wait. Do it today. All right, guys, let's get into this. IOC looking into Chinese cyclists who wore Mao pins on metal podium. You're not supposed to be doing this. The IOC, they have a lot of work to do because we already talked about Raven Saunders and also the uh, the Costa Rican uh, gymnast who put a Black Lives Matter into a routine. The IOC needs to get a grip on all of this and punish these athletes for these violations. But let's read this. It says here the International Olympic Committee is looking into a possible violation of of his rules governing political demonstrations after two Chinese cyclists wore pins depicting former Chinese Communist Party leader Mao Zedong. Bao Shenju and Zong San Chi, I'm probably mispronouncing names, won gold at the Tokyo Games on Monday, and at their medal ceremony, they were photographed with the red pins attached to their warm up jackets. Rule 50 of the Olympic Charter states that no kind of demonstration or political, religious or racial propaganda is permitted at any Olympic site, venues or other areas. The IOC loosened the rule last month, three weeks before the Tokyo Olympics, to allow for athlete expressions that are not disrupted and not targeted directly or indirectly against people, countries, organizations and or their dignity. Now, that is a bit time error on the IOC's part. You know, they were facing the pressure. They had to loosen their rules. And now you got athletes out there just violating the rules. But it goes on. But in the guidelines published last month, the IOC reiterated that these expressions were not permitted during competition or official ceremonies, including medal ceremonies. And guys, you can see right here that you Chinese athletes here, the track cyclists Zong Tanshi and Bao Shenju, right there with their gold medals. And you can see clearly here on the right, 
Maybe you can't really see it, but there's the pen right there with the face of Chairman Mao. Violating the rule. The IOC has never defined political propaganda, but it would appear that these pens depicting a controversial political leader with it the description. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about this. Mao was a communist revolutionary who is considered the founding father of the People's Republic of China and of the government that remains in power today. IOC spokesman Mark Adams said Tuesday that the IOC has contacted the Chinese Olympic Committee, asked them for a report about the situation, and we are now looking into the matter at hand yesterday. So just as we would with similar situations, we are pursuing it. And guys, we know that China is going to clap back at this with fire. They're not going to allow anybody, the IOC, to criticize their deity, Chairman Mao. They're not going to allow that to happen, folks. You know, but it goes on. If Bao and Zong, Zong are found to have violated Rule 50, they could face consequences. But the IOC has also given its disciplinary commission broad leeway to decide on consequences case by case. Wow. Unreal, guys. Unreal that these rules continue to be violated by these athletes. However, I believe that China is definitely going to fight back. They're not going to put up with the IOC. They're not. And China is the bullies on the block. They are. I mean, the IOC has been a dumpster fire when it absolutely comes to Rule 50. They have granted more leeway, leeway and more leeway weeks before the Tokyo Games happened. They should have stuck to their guns and maybe some of this protesting probably wouldn't have happened. But you never know. These athletes want to do what they want to do. And now these two Chinese athletes depicting Chairman Mao on their warm up jackets. I get it that Chairman Mao is the founder of the People's Republic of China. But this man was a cold blooded murderer. That's what he was. And political propaganda has no place at the Olympics. But like I said before, I have little to no faith that the IOC will end up punishing these players. Now, if they say, hey, we're going to take your medals. You know that China's going to fight back. China probably won't allow these athletes to return their medals if the IOC says, yep, you violated Rule 50 with political propaganda. Give us your medals. I don't see China giving back those medals whatsoever. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.